Welcome to the 24th Annual 622 Education Foundation STARS Awards. My name is Kelly Karbowski-Reichtel, co-president with Eric Morley of the 622 Education Foundation. Our foundation is excited to celebrate and honor this year's 2020 STARS recipients and their chosen mentors. STARS stands for Students and Teachers Achieving Academic Recognition and Success. This is an accomplishment that 10% of the graduating class from both North and Tartan are invited to participate in each year. STARS Awards are an opportunity to reflect and celebrate. We use our time to not only honor the students and their hard work, but to celebrate the dedicated parents, family, friends, teachers, and mentors that have helped shape these 78 adults. Our mission, the 622 Education Foundation, generates and distributes resources to ISD 622 schools to create, enrich, and expand programs that enhance the quality of education. Our goal, encourage all learners to achieve their maximum potential. Our 622 Education Foundation accomplishes this through events like the STARS Awards and our angel funds. The angel funds are in place to assist students whose families are facing financial hardship. Often, educational opportunities for these students are challenging. The Foundation's Board of Directors knows the importance of students' participation fully in educational opportunities. 622 Education Foundation and Angel Funds assist to bring equity for all students to achieve their greater potential. We gather donations from the community to assist students with eye exams, glasses, clothing, school supplies, and many other additional needs that bear extra costs on students and families. Our activities like the STARS Banquet and Angel Funds are made possible in part by community members who have made a financial contribution to our foundation. We call these generous community members our sustainers of success, and we thank them for their recent contributions. We also encourage anyone who is able to support our work in the support of District 622 to visit our website for more information. I would like to recognize our board. We have an amazing 622 education for board with such commitment and heart to the students in our community. I appreciate how you all show up to make a long lasting impact on the students of the district. You are what makes our organization so special and I thank you for your time and drive and knowledge. With this said, we have a fantastic board that as I mentioned drives for change and improving our students' lives. If you are looking to get involved, I encourage you to reach out and connect. To learn more about the District 622 Education Foundation as we are looking to fill a few more board positions, including the role of treasurer. Our foundation works alongside your school's phenomenal officers, office coordinators, Mary Kay Evans and Judy Graziano. Mary Kay and Judy, thank you for keeping us informed with all of the changes to this year's school year. Our district is very fortunate to have you and we greatly appreciate your work with the foundation. I would like to take a moment to thank the community of 622 for your continued support for STAR students. Our communities at large have come together to ensure this recognition continues to happen year over year as they recognize the importance of acknowledging these outstanding students. With the change in format this year, we reached out to, to the previous sponsors to donate what they could during these unprecedented times, and they stepped up in a big way. Our goal is to reach $5,000, which we exceeded thanks to our 622 local businesses, organizations, and city partners. These financial contributions go towards funding the commemorative pins, programs, and certificates that will be mailed to each of your homes. We are able, also able to fund two $500 scholarships, which we will draw for later in the program. To all of our sponsors this year and in years past, Thank you for continuing to support the 622 Foundation and for standing behind our students, teachers, mentors in the district. Your support is greatly appreciated. This video was made possible by a donation of time and talent from volunteer producer Luke E. Zeman. We are grateful for your generous gift to these special star students of District 622. Thank you, Luke. I also want to thank SCC Channel 19 for broadcasting our virtual event this year. We will provide a link on our social media platforms and website. Search 622 Education Foundation. Thank you to all who sent in their tribute videos. With all of the changes and uncertainty, I know this was an extra ask this year. You helped keep this tradition alive and your words of encouragement and reflection are inspiring for what our future will bring to our community. Mentors, thank you for making an impact on so many students' lives throughout your careers. 
The time and care you have invested is unmatched and invaluable to our community. Students, a few thoughts as you go into this next stage of your lives. You never need permission to lead. Always strive to learn and understand, to turn your anger and anguish into purpose. And in the words of Abraham Lincoln, whatever you are, be a good one. The future is yours. We hope you enjoy this year's video format as much as our 622 Education Foundation enjoyed putting it together. All the messages are exceptional and meaningful. Thank you again to all who were involved and congratulations 2020 star students and mentors. Hi, I'm Doug Huntley and my wife Pam and I are proud members of the District 622 Education Foundation Board. This year I have the pleasure and honor of being able to announce the STARS Banquet Scholarship winners. Before I do so, let me first thank the sponsors. Sponsors, without your generosity, this would not be possible. Thank you so much for what you do to support both the community and the district. And now on to the winners. All of the applicants were put into a randomized drawing, so they all had an equal chance, and now we selected the winners, one for North and one for Tartan. Without further ado, Tartan, Munita Toll. Congratulations, Munita. And North, Jemima Cook. Congratulations, Jemima. Each of you can receive your $500 scholarship by reaching out to Denise Roy via email at admin at 622educationfoundation.com. Thank you again. Good evening. My name is Greg Nelson and I serve as the principal of North High School. Congratulations to STAR students for your tremendous academic accomplishments that have brought you to this place tonight. Congratulations and thank you to honored guests and family members for your support and encouragement of your favorite STAR students. And thank you to the 622 Foundation for sponsoring this wonderful event. A special shout out for having the wherewithal to change it to a virtual format in this season. I would like to share some life advice tonight based on three simple words, journey, strategy, and surprise. I will sort through these three words briefly with references to the game of cribbage. Cribbage, by the way, has been the game of choice lately in the Nelson household, given the recreation void caused by COVID-19. First, cribbage like life takes time. It's a journey. In cribbage, you move pegs around the board, shooting to get to a total of 121. You take turns, but sometimes you move very little. The game takes a while. In life, you have chapters, and it too takes a while. It's a journey. As you move through the chapters of life, realize that they are linked. The end of one impacts the beginning of the next, and you are now concluding the early chapters of your life, and your actions will no doubt impact the ones to come. So life is a journey, and you need to play the long game. Always ask yourself if what you are currently doing is good for the moment or if it will play well over time. Be smart and savvy with your mental, physical, social, and spiritual choices and directions. And remember, life is a journey. In cribbage, like life, you have cards dealt to you. You do not choose them. From there, it's all about the strategy. You did not choose your parents, you did not choose your zip code, you did not choose your ethnicity, you did not choose your socioeconomic level, you did not choose how often you went on vacation. We're going to collectively refer to all of these as the luck of the draw. We all have to play with the luck of the draw that we were dealt, but success depends on the strategies applied to your luck of the draw. It's the interaction of strategies and the luck of the draw that can produce amazing results. One simple investment strategy, the rule of 72, has money doubled every eight years or so if you invest it wisely. Money strategies are easy to describe. Less apparent are investments made in values and relationships. I would argue that they pay off way more than money uh, monetary strategies do over the long haul. 
By the way, kudos to your use of strategy to date. The fact that you're present tonight means you have strategized very well in regards to your schooling. Way to go and keep that up. And more than anything, remember that your strategies in life matter, that the luck of the draw can really turn into a lot of positives with the right strategies. And finally, just want to say simply that life will surprise you. In cribbage, everyone takes a turn playing an extra hand called picking up the crib. What's in this hand is a mystery until you pick it up and play it. These hands can be anything from tremendous to awful. Needless to say, this is a crib year for you with graduation and you picked up a terrible hand. You lost the entire ending of your senior year. You lost a number of signature events and you were without contact with your classmates on a day-to-day -day basis for the last trimester of your high school. That's not a good hand. But know that this surprise, while significant, is not the last one you will face. Surprises can become gifts in that they become game changers. They produce opportunities to reshape the game itself through innovation and recalibration. Some have already dubbed our current massive surprise as the Great American Reset. Silver linings that are emerging are less pollution, more concern for the welfare of others, especially those who serve us, more time with family, and especially in my line of work, appreciation for the work of teachers seems to have deepened. Our responses to surprises, no matter how devastating they are, yield opportunities to make significant and healthy changes to society and the world we live in. As you conclude the, the chapter in your life this month, in light of the massive surprise that has been thrown at us, let me ask you to consider what you might do to contribute to positive change as you move into the next phases. And in closing, again, congratulations. And remember that life is a journey. It's about strategy. And surprises will come. Thank you. Hello, family, 622 Education Foundation members, board members, Superintendent Tucci Osorio, members of the cabinet, nominated teachers, and of course, seniors. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kevin Wolf, and I'm currently the principal at Maplewood Middle School, where some of you from both North and Tartan spent some time a few years back. To the North seniors, as you may know, I'll be the next principal at North as your current principal, Mr. Nelson, is retiring. Mr. Nelson and I have connected off this spring to make sure that your school is well taken care of as we continue building on the traditions and rich history that all of you have participated in and contributed to. Congratulations to Mr. Nelson on a long and successful career and good luck. Moving forward seniors, I can't tell you how excited I am to be part of the North High School community. And I have to thank you for the role you've played over the past four years in terms of showing what Polar Pride is all about and showing us what excellence truly looks like. Regardless of how you got to the top 10% of your class, no doubt resilience, perseverance, and good old hard work were part of your success. And you sustained this elite level of success for four full years. Truly impressive. And then to top things off, you were challenged at the very end with what COVID-19 brought you. My oldest daughter is also a senior, so I truly understand how you feel. Without question, being challenged to be more creative and thoughtful about how you socialize, finish your schoolwork, make some money and hang out with friends, will prepare you for whatever the future holds. No doubt you've all done your share of bonfires, mocking and innovative TikToks. I am sorry you've missed out on a number of important senior milestones, but you are one group that we know will treat this as just a bump in the road and will we'll move on to accomplish great things. Again, congratulations on your tremendous accomplishments and I wish you good luck next fall and beyond. Take care. Hi, my name is Aisha Adedaya, and one thing I've learned is that failure is an opportunity for growth and not a negative reflection of my capabilities. My mentor is my imam and Sunday school teacher, Brother Suleiman Ajakaye, and he has taught me to be a shepherd and not a sheep. I would like to thank my parents for always encouraging me to work hard and providing me with their unconditional love and support.
My name is Suleiman Ajakai. Aisha Adidayo is one of my mentors in the community. Aisha, the entire community members are proud of you, of your accomplishment, and of all the contribution, your years of service as the president of the youth wing in our community uh, represents. Your leadership skills is out of this world, and I say congratulations to you and the entire 2020 STAR students. Hi, I'm Mr. Sturm, and I had the pleasure of being selected by Stormy Allen Knight as her influential educator. I've known Stormy since she was a ninth grade student, and I have her this year as an AP Physics 1 student. Stormy is unique in her ability to communicate her misunderstandings and confusions so that other students can also learn from her, but then once she understands things, she communicates her understandings in ways that allows her peers to learn and understand more efficiently. My name is Cindy Vaughn. I was nominated by Shelby Anderson, who is a family friend. Shelby is a self-driven, creative, and independent young lady. I expect big things for her after high school. I leave Shelby and the other graduates with my favorite quote from Christopher Robin. Remember, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Hi, I'm Don Gilking, 7th and 8th grade language arts teacher at John Glenn Middle School. I'm honored to have been chosen by Christian Arias. Christian one of the most dedicated, hardworking students I have ever had. I know you are going to do awesome in, in college. I look forward to finding out what the future holds from you with your degree from Bethel. Do your best, stay true to who you are, and good luck in your future. Congratulations on graduating high school, Jesus, and on doing so well. I thought instead of you seeing my face, you'd like to see some of the pictures of you when you were in the kayaking club. One of the things I'm proud of you for is how you were always a team player and you never, ever faded away from any challenge. You made everybody feel welcome. You pushed yourself to be better and do better all the time. I am so proud of knowing you through middle school and high school and I know that your future will be bright. Hi, my name is Samantha Bond. Through my internship at North St. Paul City Hall, I have learned the real world applications of construction and engineering. This will be very beneficial to me in college. My mentor's name is Amanda Hyatt. Amanda was my high school tennis coach and is a great friend. Amanda, thank you so much. Your hard work and dedication has taught me to never give up. Lastly, I would like to thank my mom, dad, and sister for their support. Hi, I'm Amanda Hyatt, and I'm one of Sammy Bond's tennis coaches at North. I think some of Sammy's most admirable attributes are that she's brilliant, innovative, hardworking, and very thoughtful. Sammy, this combination of strengths will allow you to achieve anything you want in life. Congratulations on everything you've accomplished so far, and I can't wait to see what the future has in store for you. One piece of advice, Never stop cooking and baking for the people who you love, always with extra chocolate and extra sprinkles. My name is Rose Diana Border, and probably the most important lesson I learned in high school was that no matter what, you can never give up on yourself. I would like to thank Jennifer Cook, better known to her students as Madame Cook, for teaching me to really love challenging myself. And I would also like to thank my wonderful, wonderful parents who have supported me in everything I have done and have been with me throughout the good, the bad, and the ugly. I would also like to thank District 62 for giving me the opportunity to express my gratitude for the people important to me. Thank you. I'm Madame Cook. I was Rose's French teacher for two years. I knew right away when I met her, Rose would be an exceptional student because she came to ninth grade orientation and spoke French to me. Rose's biggest strength is her pursuit of her curiosity. She's interested in French, Arabic, biology, music, and she teaches herself all those things. Rose, merci d'être mon élève. Je te souhaite tout le bonheur du monde. Tu seras dans mon cœur pour toujours. Hi, my name is Claire Cardinal. One thing I've learned in my academic career is that it's important to surround yourself with supportive friends who have similar goals as you. I'd like to thank Mr. Waffler for teaching me how to stay positive when faced with challenges and for fueling my passion to work in the medical field by exploring the opportunities in STEM. I'd also like to thank my parents and my siblings. Thank you. 
My name is Tom Waffler, and I was nominated as a STARS teacher by Claire Cardinal at North High School. I had Claire Cardinal in my calculus class last year, and she's also been part of North High's STEM committee. Claire has a positive attitude. She's a hard worker. She works exceptionally well with other people, and I can't wait to see what she's up to in the next couple years. Uh, she's going to do some fantastic things. Thanks for the nomination, Claire, and good luck to you. Hi, my name is Russell Sean. I'm one of the art teachers at North High. My student is Anna Conway, and I just wanted to say that she is one of the most uh, talented and creative kids that I've come across in the past couple of years. Uh, I'm really going to miss all of her sharp wit and her witty sarcasm that she brought to my class daily. And I just want to wish all of the STARS students uh, the best of luck in everything that they do in the future. I'm Corey Crothers, Spanish teacher at North High. I've had Molly Conway in my classes through the years. Uh, what stands out to me most about you, Molly, is truly the leader that you are. You are never afraid to take risks, to put yourself out there, to speak Spanish when speaking another language can be quite scary. And you always encourage your classmates to do the same. Your positivity is absolutely contagious. And Molly, you are going to be so missed at North High. So congratulations on all of your accomplishments to you and all the 2020 STAR students. Take care. My name is Jemima Cook, and one thing I have learned throughout my academic career is that time management is super important. There are a lot of things in my high school career that I couldn't find time to do. And speaking of time, I'd like to thank Ms. McCarthy, my middle school knowledgeable coach, for teaching me how to take initiative and to believe in myself. I'd like to thank my father for always answering my questions, no matter how trivial or small they may have been to him. I am Shannon McCarthy, and I have known Jemima Cook since she was in my seventh grade U.S. Studies class. Jemima has been diligent in her work since the day I met her. Her creativity and kindness have always been on display in the classroom. I know I could look out in the room and see her engaged in our learning. I know these qualities will lead her to continued success no matter what she does. Good luck, Jemima. My name is Kristen DeCare. One thing I will take from my school experience is my good work ethic that I will use in college. I want to thank my teacher, Miss Simon, for getting me through sophomore year and every school year after that, and for letting me eat snacks in her room every day before AP Psych my junior year. She taught me to believe in myself and made me realize I have the ability to succeed. Thank you. Hi there, it's Elaine Simon here. I know Kristen from our accelerated geometry class back when she was a 10th grader, and then we've kept in touch with daily homeroom check-ins. I think her biggest strength is her perseverance to continue to challenge herself in all of her accelerated courses. I wish her all the best as well as all of the 2020 STARS students and I can't wait to see what you guys accomplish in your next chapter of life. Hi, my name is Cole Hutchins and I've had the privilege of knowing Lamine Diaby for the last four years of my life. I've been able to be a teacher and a coach to this exceptional young man who is an example of the highest of moral integrity that I have ever seen as a coach and as a friend. One thing I wanna say is thank you to him and for the rest of the 2020 stars, don't ever be afraid to continue to be yourself. Follow your dreams into every sunset in life and congratulations. Hello, my name is Manuel Afi de Mayo. Something I learned in my academic career is the importance of staying determined despite obstacles I may face, and I will use this mindset to achieve my future goals. I want to thank Ms. McCarthy from Maplewood Middle School for pushing me to do my best at such a young age. I also want to thank my family and my parents for supporting me throughout my academic career. Thank you. I am Shannon McCarthy, and I have known Afi Demenya since she was added to my AVID class in seventh grade. In our AVID class, she would go above and beyond to show the individual determination of the program. I am so proud of her hard work and accomplishments that are leading her to great success. I feel incredibly honored to have had this young woman in my life, and I am excited to continue to hear about the great impact she will have on the world. Hi, I'm Kate Leiden. I had Nikki in my class at North High School. Um, the best thing about Nikki is her big heart. She is a kind and compassionate soul to the core, and I love her for it. Um, Nikki, for you for the future, I just have to say, find a career that you love, that you don't mind getting up for in the morning, that brings you joy each day. And when you get into a career, or if you do, that you don't love, find a new one. You're going to spend a lot of time there, so do something that you enjoy 
each day. I will miss you. Thanks for everything. Hello, class of 2020. I am Mrs. Lindgren. Many of you probably remember me as Miss Des, seventh and eighth grade language arts teacher at John Glenn. And I'm here to honor Soliana Gideon, a student, a person who's just unforgettable. She's kind, caring, dedicated, smart, hardworking, all the attributes of someone you know is gonna make a big difference in the world. So Leanne, I cannot wait to see what you do. Class of 2020, we're so proud of you. Congratulations and go on and change the world. Hi, my name is Josie Gouliash. And one thing I'll take forward into my future is that hard work and determination always pays off. I would like to thank Miss Anderson for teaching me the beauty of nature and to take care of all living things. And I'd like to give a shout out to my family for always supporting me. Michelle Anderson here. I taught Josie Gouliash in third and fourth grade. She is kind, compassionate, altruistic, hardworking, and dedicated. Nelson Mandela said, our human compassion binds us one to the other, not with pity nor patronizingly, but as human beings who have learned to turn our common suffering into a hope for the future. Hi, I'm Dawn Gelking, seventh and eighth grade language arts teacher at John Glenn Middle School. I'm honored to have been chosen by Miss Susie Gustafson. I had her in both seventh and eighth grade. Susie, you are one of the best writers I have seen in my career. I still use your story from seventh grade as a mentor text. I wish you great success in your future. I know you are going to go on and do amazing and wonderful things. Best of luck to you. My name is Erica Horvath, and one thing that I learned in high school that I will bring with me is to work hard and be persistent in my work. I chose Mr. Dean as my teacher, and I'd like to thank him for teaching me to manage my time and for teaching me that my hard work really does pay off. I'd also like to give a shout out to my parents because they've always supported me and been there for me throughout my academic career. Hi, I'm Mr. Dean and I'm here to celebrate the achievements of Erica Horwath. Erica was my student in 10th grade biology and again in AP biology this year. Erica, you have many great qualities, but I think your superpower is preparation. Um, you're crazy busy, most of tonight's honorees are, but you have the discipline to just meet all of your obligations. Uh, I really respect your dedication to making things happen. I wish you well as you study nursing at Bethel. Congratulations, Erica. Hello, my name is Lindsay King and I am a graduating senior from North High School. Some things that I hope to bring with me into college is taking the initiative and asking questions because it's important that you get the quality of education that you deserve and that starts with asking questions. I also like to thank my advisor, Bethany, she taught me that it's okay to ask for help, and also like to thank my family for supporting me and helping me become the person that I am today. Thank you, North High. Hello, my name is Bethany and I'm Lindsay's Upward Bound Advisor. I admire Lindsay's integrity. The way Lindsay lives her life, combined with her down-to-earth personality, positively affects the type of leader, learner, and friend she is, and unintentionally inspires others, including myself, to be and do better. Lindsay, you have so much to be proud of and so much to look forward to in your future. Congratulations to Lindsay and all the 2020 STARS graduates. My name is Mr. Halderson. Abby was a student in my 10th grade biology class and frequent visitor during her junior and senior years for treats and random conversation. She is a very hardworking student, diligent about her biology work, uh, and also quite hilarious. Um, congratulations on being nominated for this, and I wish you well in the future. It's a little uncertain at this time, but I know you'll be able to manage the situation. Hello, my name is Giselle Lowe, and one thing that I learned throughout my academic career is to go out and try new things, even if it might only slightly interest you. I want to thank my youth director, Tommy Lohr, for teaching me the importance of involving others around me and for always creating a safe place for me to share my thoughts and ideas. I also want to give a shout out to my family for dealing with me on my stressful days and supporting me all the time. Hi, my name is Tom and Laura. I'm the Youth Director for Thrive Youth Ministries, where Giselle Lowe is an active and valuable participant. One of her biggest strengths is her safe and inviting presence that allows her the unique ability to connect and create meaningful relationships with those around her. Congratulations on all your academic achievements, Giselle, and keep challenging yourself as you change the world. 
My best wishes to you and to all the 2020 STAR students. Hi, I'm off to the Corrine, North St. Paul Police Department. I met Ellie Malinger four years ago as an incoming freshman and my first year as an SRL. Although she be little, she be fierce is the best way to describe her. Every goal she has put in front of her, she has crushed. I'm honored that she chose me as her mentor. To all the seniors, congratulations, and you got this. Hi, I'm Mr. Dean, and I am here to celebrate the achievements of Bao Fong Huynh. Bao Fong has been with me for AP Bio this year. Bao Fong, I think your superpower is versatility. You are a talented athlete. You're a really great guy. Um, but it's your deep understanding of the material in AP Bio that really amazes me. I wish you well as you study nuclear engineering at UW-Madison. Um, congratulations, Bao Fong. Hi, my name is Lena Wen, and one thing I learned during my academic career is how to bring the confidence to ask for questions and ask for help when I need it. I plan to take that lesson to continue to learn and grow as my student career continues. I would like to thank Mr. Kruger for being the type of teacher that allowed discussion and expressed the importance of a student voice while teaching important concepts in literature and sprouting my love of reading. And finally, I would like to thank my family for their support and love of my hobbies and academic interest. Hi, my name is Nick Kruger, and I'm here at Stars Banquet with Delina Wynn. Delina has been in three of my literature courses over the last two years, and my favorite thing about Delina in class is what excellent questions she asks. You always ask good questions to find out the information you need, whether it's out of curiosity or to make sure your assignment's done well, and I hope you continue that on into adulthood. Also, my advice to you, Delina, is keep singing. There's enough ugliness in the world, and we need as much beautiful music as we can. Lastly, do good, be good, and Timmy sends his best. Hi, my name is Kirsten King and I was selected by Maddie Nielsen and could not be more honored to share about Maddie. Maddie has so many qualities, it's hard to narrow it down to one that I admire. I'm sorry, I'm getting choked up, that's why it's hard to do this video. I admire her resiliency. Maddie can see a situation and even if it can be a negative one, she can learn the best possible things from it and rise to great heights. Also, Maddie's very determined. She's focused. She has an idea in her mind that this is where I want to go and I don't have any doubts that she will get there. Maddie has been an encouragement to me, probably way more so than I've been an encouragement to her. I have no doubt that as Maddie goes forward and pursues her dream of becoming a healthcare professional and nurse, I have no doubt that she's going to excel and do great things. I also have no doubt that if I was in a situation and I needed a nurse, I would want it to be Maddie. Maddie, I wish you the best of all, all that God has to offer you. And I know that you will go far and I know that we will continue to stay close. I appreciate you, I love you, I'm praying for you. God bless you. I'm Kristen Simonson, and I'm fortunate enough to know So U. As he was an outstanding member of our Parkway Montessori Middle School community, I was lucky enough to be a science teacher for his 6th, 7th, and 8th grade years. I remember his joyous spirit, his smile, his sense of humor, and his very dedicated, strong work ethic, which will take him very far in life. I have fond memories of going to the Twin Cities Regional Science Fair with So, and I am really proud of you and I am happy to share in the excitement and celebration of your success. I wish you the best on your next adventure. My name is Anne Marie Sass, and I was lucky enough to have Catherine in both career writing and CIS communications. What stands out to me about Catherine is her willingness to try. Whether we're yelling about lunch meat, talking to the wall, or writing persuasive speeches, she was always willing to try something new, even if it scared her. Catherine, don't ever lose that because you never know what you can accomplish until you try. Well, with everything going on, just a breath of fresh air to be part of the STARS Virtual Banquet 2020. Congratulations to all, but especially Olivia Rowland on all of your academic success. Olivia in the classroom, as an aide, especially the trip to Italy, um, congrats, you've done it all. You've worked hard, you've achieved the, all the ex tough classes that you've taken, you've done it. Uh, I wanna wish you all the best uh, thank you again for this opportunity, Olivia, and big decision that you made. You made the right one. Go Buffs. Hi, my name is Macy Shaw. One thing that I've learned during my academic career that I will take forward to achieve my future goals is that no matter how hard things get, to always try my best to work hard, persevere, and remain focused. My teacher mentor is Mr. Hagel, and I would like to thank Mr. Hagel for teaching me that hard work can also be fun. I would also like to thank my mom, my dad, 
my two brothers, and especially my grandparents for always being so supportive of everything that I do. Thank you. Hello, my name is Tom Hagel, and I was selected by Macy Shaw, who is an outstanding student of mine in advanced placement in American government and politics. First, I wanted to say how honored I am that you chose me as your STARS recipient. Obviously, I'm saddened that we could not be together actually in person tonight uh, at the traditional banquet, but this will be a story to tell generations to come. Second, I've appreciated your optimism, dedication, hard work, and deep contemplative style and I know you will do so well at UW-Madison. I believe you will absolutely thrive in college. I wish the best to you and to all the 2020 STARS students. Hi, my name is Mari Smith and my mentor was Samantha Prowse. I really can't thank her enough for everything she taught me, but one thing that stands out is to be assertive and to ask for help when I need it. Also, to my parents for being invested in how I was doing inside and outside of school. Thank you so much. Hi, Mari, and for everybody who's watching, my name is Sam, and I've had the pleasure of knowing Mari throughout her high school years. Mari, you've come so far in your ability to advocate for yourself and really express your wants and needs across all environments. I couldn't be more proud of all the skills and tools and growth that you've engaged in over the years. Congratulations to you and the class of 2020. You guys made it. My name is Paula Clegg and I have had the pleasure of being Laura's ceramics teacher for the last four years. I really admire Laura's determination. She's not afraid to take risks and really understands the importance of practice. Laura, I wish you the best of luck at the University of Minnesota next year and I can't wait to hear about all your accomplishments. Hi, my name is Kim Tran and one thing I've learned in my academic career was that I should always challenge myself to take harder classes and become more involved in school activities. I would like to say thank you to Ms. Simon for teaching me that I should always try new things. And lastly, I would like to say thank you to my parents for always believing and supporting me. Hi, it's Elaine Simon here. I know Kim Tran from Accelerated Math Classes and this past trimester her being one of my student aides. Kim's best quality is by far her work ethic and also just her ability to deal with me during um, all the student aid tasks I make her do. I appreciate all of her hard work. Congratulations, Kim and all the STARS Banquet members. Today, you guys rock, and with your hard work, you're going to continue to be very successful. Hi, my name is Mia Fang. Through the many obstacles and challenges I faced during my academic career, I've learned that when times get tough, just push through it because in the end, it's worth it. I would like to thank Ms. Murphy for teaching me about prioritization and time management. I would also like to thank my parents and brother as well for believing in me and encouraging me to go far in life. Hi, my name is Jody Murphy, and I was nominated by Mia Vang. I taught Mia AP Chemistry during her junior year in high school. The thing that I remember the most about Mia is her dedication and willingness to ask questions and pursue the science topic we were studying in further depth. She was an outstanding student and always willing to go the extra effort. Mia, I wish you all the best, and it's such an honor to be nominated by you. I'm Mr. Sturm and I was selected by Ramsey Vang as an influential educator for him. I've known Ramsey since he was a ninth grade student and I have him this year as a physics student. Ramsey is able to tune out all of the distractions of high school and really focus on his schoolwork and making sure he really understands, but when the time is right, he can cut loose and have some fun with his friends. I'd like to wish Ramsey and all of the STARS award winners best of luck, stay safe. Hi, my name is Nick Kruger, and I'm here at Stars Banquet with Arianne Weems. I've known Arianne for two years, and she's been in three of my lit classes, and my favorite thing about Arianne is how excited she gets by learning. I could always tell when she had a new or interesting thought because her face would light up and her eyes would get really big and her hand would go shooting into the air. My advice to you, Arianne, is to do your best to keep that level of curiosity as you move into adulthood. The adult world lacks curiosity and desperately needs it. Lastly, do good, be good, and Timmy sends his best. Hi, my name is Richard Jong. One thing I've learned in my academic career is that hard work always pays off. My mentor is Ms. Sauswagger, and she's taught me that kindness is always the road to take. I'd like to thank my friends and family for supporting me for so long and for supporting me through these tough times. Thank you. My name is Kim Allswagger, and I have been Richard Jong's choir teacher for two years now. 
Richard is one of the hardest working students I have ever had. He is a passionate and well-rounded performer, and perhaps my favorite quality, he is so positive and so kind. Richard, thank you so much for the lasting impact you have had on me and on the choir. You'll be dearly missed, but I am so proud of you and can't wait to see what you do in the future. And to Richard and all of the STARS recipients, keep working hard, it will pay off. And always remember to bring positivity and kindness into the world. Hi, I'm Craig Spreiter. I'm a business, marketing, and DECA teacher at Tartan High School. And like many of you in the audience tonight, I'm a product of our school district. When I grew up, I went to Cowan Elementary. I then went to Maplewood and then moved over to North. I've been at Tartan for the last 21 years. But as a student, especially at North, I never got a grade below a B. I was your straight B student. A's if I wanted to work harder than most to get one, but never less than a B. That's probably a lot different than most of you tonight. I would be willing to bet that none of you have gotten a B in this audience, unless it was a weighted B that wouldn't have affected your GPA all that much. But what we probably both and all have in common is I loved school. I loved working in the classes, and even more so in the last three months, I recognize how much I value the relationship that I have with my teachers at North High School. According to surveys that I've read from many of you and feedback that I've gotten on essay questions, I've come to realize that the personal relationships are what most of us are, are missing right now, especially when it comes to your senior year and ceremonies like this. So how do we measure where things are at right now? <clears throat> I never uh, had to work very hard to get my B's in school. I had to work a little bit harder to get my A's. You all have worked extremely hard to get your A's, to graduate in the top 10% of your class at North and Tartan. But how do you measure yourself when you're in a room full of students, just like you in terms of grades and likely in terms of leadership, experience, sports or activities, involvement, and drive. These past two months of distance learning have put a lot of that into perspective for me when it comes to teaching and learning. Likely the same is true for many of you. But how do you measure it in a ceremony like tonight? When I was a senior in high school, I met a man who lived down the street from Maplewood Mall. His name was Don Pluth. I would walk by his house regularly on my way to Maplewood Mall to work. And occasionally he stopped me if he was working in the yard and visit as he got to know me. And when he found out that I was graduating high school, he asked me, what are your plans? What do you want to do with your life? At the time I had all the answers. I knew I was going to St. Cloud State. I knew I was going to be in sales and marketing. I knew one day I would be one of the top salespeople at General Mills. Life doesn't always turn out the way you expect, but what's important is that you have milestones that you're planning for. I think it's important to take a moment tonight and reflect on what some of those milestones are in your lives. <clears throat> Graduating in the top 10% of your class, of any class, is exceptional. That's something to be proud of, but that's just a moment that we're celebrating tonight. When you were born, our country was coming out of the attacks on 9-11. There wasn't a lot of hope for where we could go as a country. There was a lot of fear and insecurity and uncertainty. When you got to kindergarten and first grade, our housing markets crashed. Again, a lot of fear and uncertainty about what the future would hold. As you came into middle school, we had our first prolonged recession, at least in my lifetime. And now as you graduate high school, we're dealing with COVID-19. All of these things are challenges, but they're only things. They're only moments in time. As you reflect back on your senior year and your 12 years 
think back of all the hard work that you put into your classes. Think about all the hard work you put into your relationships. The fact that I was chosen tonight to be a, a teacher and a mentor to three great students at Tarden, but the fact that I've been singled out as a teacher that's had an impact on students that are graduating in the top 10% of our class is a very high honor indeed. As you go forth into the world, don't let the moments that have held you back this year over your generation define who you are. Instead, let those moments start shaping the story of who you'll become. The top 10% has a tough burden. You have to go out into the world and prove that that 10% is worth it of you. And I'm confident that you can. Congratulations, STARS Banquet recipients. I'm very proud of you. Good evening, parents. I am Ty Thompson, the principal of Tartan High School. Before we begin with the awards this evening, I would like to acknowledge what amazing students, staff, and community members we have here in District 622. Thank you. Students, STARS is one of the many events that will take place over the next few weeks, marking the culmination of your high school careers. Although I am certain that none of us planned for these events to take place virtually, they remain major accomplishments and should be celebrated as such. I am so proud of all of you, not only for your academic achievements and placing in the top of your graduating class, but also for the type of people you have become. Within this Zoom, there are thousands of community service hours dedicated fundraising dollars donated, and scholarships earned. Those are only a few of the countless accomplishments you have achieved over the past four years and speak nothing to what you will accomplish in the future. I want you to know that this is truly unique and not something that all students were able to achieve during their high school careers. Your accomplishments speak to who each and every one of you are as individuals, and I look forward to seeing what your future will bring. Parents, family members, and honored guests, thank you as well for helping our students develop into the young people they are today. Your guidance, support, and encouragement help to ensure that these are the young people occupying the seats and screens surrounding us this evening. Thank you. And now we will transition to the formal recognition of our students and their guests of honor. Hi, my name is Laura Springer, and I've had the honor and privilege of being Jacob Anderson's piano teacher. And over those years, I've noticed that one of his greatest attributes is what a hardworking student he is. And you could tell by how well he's done academically and musically. And I am so proud of him. And I'm so proud of all of you students of the class of 2020. I wish we could celebrate together. But just know we're all here for you. And again, congratulations, Jacob. I couldn't be more proud. Hello, my name is Lydia Otto. And I'm honored to be a part of this year's STARS Banquet. An important lesson I've learned throughout high school is the idea of always laughing and being joyful in whatever situation you find yourself in. Thank you so much to my amazing speech coach and mentor, Ms. Azer, for teaching me such a valuable lesson. Also, a big thank you to my family and friends for their unconditional support throughout high school. Lydia Otto, everyone knows brilliant, talented, hardworking, yet somehow humble, Harvard-bound Lydia Otto, but I know Lydia. Generous, playful, fun, and oh so funny. I've enjoyed so much talking with you about everything from the world to my classroom. Lydia, because I know you, I have been changed for good, and I can't wait to see how that strong, powerful voice of yours changes the world. Kit Bittner, thank you so much for the invitation tonight to be your STARS mentor. I couldn't be more proud of you. When I met you four years ago, you were introverted. It was hard to get you to make eye contact and share your story. And since then, and through your involvement with DECA, you've at times become the light of our classroom, a person that other students gravitated toward. Good luck with all you pursue. I hope science is your avenue to change the world in a positive way. 
Good luck to you and all the other STARS participants. Thank you. Hi, my name is Reese Brockup, and after four years at Tartan High School, I learned that success comes with dedication. It might not always show itself at first, but eventually it will come. And I want to say thank you to Mr. Lotzi for showing me that learning doesn't always have to be so serious, and it's best to build a relationship with your teachers. And lastly, I want to say thank you to all my friends and family for always being there with me. Thanks. My name is Scott Lotzi, and I've ended most days for the past two years with Reese in my science classroom. Reese has always been a dedicated student and a leader in the classroom, but more importantly, he always came to class with a great attitude. Reese had a way to make everyone's day better. I'm so happy that Reese has been selected for this honor. He deserves it. My advice to you is this, every day isn't going to be perfect or even easy, but how you get through those days is what makes you the person that you are. Congratulations to Reese and all the stars of 2020. Hi, my name is Matthew Brown. Uh, the most important thing I've learned in my academic career is how to manage my time better, and that is something that I will definitely be taking with me as I advance my education in college. My mentor throughout my academic career was my 11th grade English teacher, Miss Dizik. She taught me how to improve my writing a lot, how to take better notes, and how to overall just be a better student. And lastly, I would like to shout out my parents for pushing me to be the best student that I could be. I'm very honored to be recognized by Matt Brown. Matt was a student in my AP Language and Composition class his junior year. What I remember most about Matt is his incredible reading ability, um, both comprehension and speed. I remember the first time we did an AP test practice for reading comprehension, he finished in about five minutes. And, um, and I thought, oh, that kid's just uh, sloughing off. He got 100%. Um, so Matt is a great student, great reader, um, and I wish him the best of luck next year. My name is Bailey Bochy, and throughout my academic career, I have learned how to manage my time wisely and to prioritize my various tasks. I would like to thank Mr. Zieski for teaching me to always push myself to be better and to never settle for anything less. I would also like to thank both my parents for always being there for me and supporting me in whatever I do. Hi, my name is Mr. Zieski. I was honored by Bailey Bochy. Uh, I've known Bailey since she was in my eighth grade uh, enriched language arts class. Excellent student, great kid. Uh, she's also volunteered in my classroom and uh, I've mentored her in the past. Um, her best attribute by far is her hard work, her determination. Anything Bailey wants, she goes after it and she does not stop until she accomplishes it. Super proud of you, Bailey. Congratulations on your graduation and looking forward to seeing great things from you. Hi, my name is Noah Buck. One thing I learned in my academic career that will help me in the future is that challenging yourself and stepping out of your comfort zone will help you to get ahead in the future. I would like to thank my third grade teacher, Ms. Wareham, for teaching me how to make learning more fun and enjoyable. I'd also like to thank my parents for helping me throughout my academic career. I'm Mrs. Wareham from Skyview Elementary School and Noah Buck. There you are, back in third grade in 2010, 2011. I'm so honored you chose me to be your mentor teacher. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you. You aimed high, you worked hard, you cared for what you believe in. You have a gentle soul and you're a quiet leader. And I can't wait to see what you give to the world. I am excited about your future. Aim high and don't forget to stop in and check with me. I do feel like in the future, your mom, dad, Nash, and I will be able to sit around a table and celebrate you. Hi, I'm McKenna Campbell, and through these past years of school, I've learned to always be accountable, work hard, and in order to make the most of it in your life, get involved. I chose Ms. Quebec as my mentor because she has taught me to be a better person for myself and for others, and also just to be a more positive influence towards others. And I want to thank my parents for everything they've done because they always made sure I had what I needed to be successful, and I wouldn't be the person I am today without them. So thank you both. Love you. Hi all, I'm Kristen Quebec and I was chosen by McKenna Campbell. I've known McKenna as both a student in my math classes and as a link leader. The thing I most admire about her is her authenticity. No matter where she is in Tartan High School, whether it's on the soccer field or in classes or participating in activities, she's always the same enthusiastic version of herself and I know this is going to serve her well in life. Good luck next year McKenna, come back and visit and best wishes to all the 2020 graduates. Hi, I'm Jada, and one thing that I've learned in my academic career is to always try your hardest and give your 100%. Um, I want to thank 
is shown for furthering my interest in Spanish and inspiring me to minor in it next year. And I also want to thank my family, especially my mom, for always believing in me and cheering me on. Hi, uh, my name is Billy Schoen, and I was selected as a STARS mentor by Jada Conroy. I was lucky enough to have Jada for two years in Spanish, first in Spanish 3, and then this year in CIS. Um, I think Jada's biggest strength is her creativity and her sense of humor. My advice to the 2020 STAR students is this, better an oops than a what if. By that, I mean it's better to take chances and make mistakes and fail than to regret not having tried something. So trust your heart, don't ever think things, and best of luck. Hi, my name is Ann Dow and I'm a senior from Tartan High School. In my academic career, I learned that it is okay to fail and start over because in the end, it only helps me grow as a person and as an individual. I'd like to say thank you to Ms. First for teaching me that it, with hard work and dedication, I'm able to accomplish everything. And lastly, I want to give a shout out to my parents for being so supportive and caring all of these years. Thank you for all you do and for loving me. My name is Mrs. First and I've known Anne for the last four years as an AVID student and an NHS student. Anne is one of the most mature young women I've ever had the pleasure of teaching and it's why she was so successful not only at Tartan but also as a PSEO student at the University of Minnesota. And it's why I know she's going to continue doing really great things next fall at the U. Congratulations Anne, I'm really proud of you. Hi, my name is Cody Engstrom and one thing I've learned throughout my academic career is that having a good relationships are very important in becoming successful. Uh, next, I'd like to shout out my mentor, Ms. Capon. Thank you for teaching me how to succeed in a work environment and how to be an engaged member in my community. Uh, finally, thank you to my parents. I wouldn't be in this position if it wasn't for all the support you have given me. I love you and thank you again for everything. Hello, I'm Vicki Capon and I'm Cody Engstrom's VPA teacher. What I love about Cody is that he's willing to jump into things that he's excited about, even if it is something that would normally make someone of his age uncomfortable. If he wants something, he really goes for it. Congratulations, Cody, and all of the STAR students. Keep doing what you're doing because your hard work has gotten you this far. I'm Christian Hernandez, and one thing I plan to take with me in the future is work ethic because it's very important. Um, the mentor that I chose is my football coach, Mr. Wessel. He taught me to believe in myself and to give everything my all, no matter what it is. And final thank you to my parents and to my older brother for just setting such a good example. Hi, my name is John Wessel, and I first met Christian three years ago on the, uh, on the football field. Um, his biggest strength is his leadership. Uh, both on the football field and in the weight room. Uh, he always had time for his teammates and his classmates. Uh, his character is second to none. He uh, is a role model for my two uh, younger sons that uh, were ball boys and got to know him through football. Uh, Christian, I wish you the best of luck. God bless. And I'm always here for you. Take care, bud. I'm Alexandra Howard, and throughout my high school career, I learned that hard work pays off and that you can only achieve what you go for. I want to thank my teacher, Mrs. Reed, for teaching me that communicating with teachers can make class easier and fun and that the teachers are there to help you. I also want to thank my parents for their constant support and for helping me throughout high school because I really could not have done it without them. Hi, my name is Sarah Reed. I was lucky enough to be Alex Howard's Spanish teacher this year. She is one of the brightest, kindest, and most courageous students I've ever had. I miss her so much. I Wish her the best of luck. I'm so proud of her. Um, and I hope we see each other very soon. Hasta pronto. Hello, my name is Ethan Hughes. And something that I learned in my high school career that's gonna help me in my future is the work-life balance. So making sure that you are working hard, but that you're also taking time for yourself as well. My mentor is Mr. Schweider, my DECA teacher. And he helped me really learn um, how to build relationships between your personal, personal life and your work life as well. And I wanna thank some family members. So I wanna thank my mom, my brother Alex, my cousins Taylor and Morgan, uh, my aunt Amy, my uncle Brian, and then my grandparents as well. Thank you guys so much. Ethan Hughes, thank you for the honor of choosing me as one of your teacher mentors at Tartan High School. The last two years have been great. You came to Tartan as a 11th grader. You found a home very fast. You made great friends. I've always been impressed with your 
willingness to take advice, to use that advice to become better, not only with your assignments, to become a better person as well. I look forward to all you're going to accomplish in the financial world and look forward to staying in touch. Thank you so much. Hi, Annie. What an honor it's been to work with you for two years. Your love of learning, family, and country are admirable. Your stories have inspired me. Your ability to take on causes bigger than you to better all of us is something we should all learn from to make our world a better place. You have made my world a better place, and to you I say thank you and congratulations on all that's to come. Hi, I'm Gary Kuzik. One thing I learned in high school is how to balance schoolwork with other activities like sports, which is something I'll definitely need next year and will take with me to college. I would like to thank my dive coach, Aaron Bell, for teaching me to always try new things, even if they're frightening, because in the end, the outcome will be worth it. I would also like to thank my amazing parents for constantly pushing me to keep my grades up and always pushing me academically and athletically. Hi. I get to talk about Garrett Kierzik. I have been Garrett's diving coach for three years and I'm going to be sad to see him go. Something I always think about when I think of Garrett is fearless. No matter what I asked him to do, no matter what we wanted him to do, he would show up and he would do his best and he would be great every single time. For the class of 2020 and Garrett, my advice is don't be afraid to walk a different path than the one right in front of you. There's so many things to explore and see. Go and see them. Hi, my name is Madison Klimek, and one thing that I learned over my academic career is how to set goals and prioritize them to achieve them. My teacher is Mr. Ziski, and I want to thank him for always believing in me and staying in contact with me and cheering me on as I'm achieving my dreams. And a big shout out to my parents for being my number one supporters. I would not be here without you guys. Hi, my name is Mr. Ziski. I'm being honored by Madison Klimek. Uh, Maddie May was in my eighth grade in rich language arts class. She's also volunteered in my classroom. She mentored my son when she was younger. Uh, just a great kid, great student. Her best attribute is her heart. Everything she does, she leads with kindness. Um, congratulations on your graduation, and I look forward to great things for you, Maddie. My name is Nicholas Korn. One thing that I learned in my academic career is that I can never stop learning. The teacher that I selected was Mrs. Eplund, and the one thing I'm thankful for that she taught me is that to achieve your goals, you have to work hard for them. And I would like to thank my family for everything they have done during my academic career. Nicholas Corrin is a star student. I'm Cindy Eplin and I was Nicholas's kindergarten teacher at Eagle Point. Nicholas always loved to learn. He was so adorable, just looking at me, smiling and ready to learn. And he was so kind to everyone. I want to wish Nicholas and all the star students great happiness in their future and joy and blessings. Um, I'm so proud of you all. Hi, my name is Tommy Larson. One thing I learned here at Tartan High School is how hard work really does pay off. My teacher is Coach Wessel. Um, thank you, Coach, for everything you've taught me and all the fun memories we have together. I'd like to give a special shout out to my parents for always pushing me and always being there making me a better person. Thank you. Hi, my name is John Wessel, and I have known Tommy for about three years through both football and my strength training class. Uh, Tommy's best characteristic is his work ethic. Uh, he works his tail off every single day, um, whether it's in the classroom or on a football field. Uh, he is uh, just a, a great young man to, uh, to have around. One of my uh, favorite memories of Tommy is, is breakfast in the morning. Uh, he'd come outside the weight room and uh, him and I would, uh, would start the day with breakfast. So Tommy, thank you for that. I wish you the best of luck. Know that uh, I'm always here for you uh, and uh, you take care of yourself. Hi, my name is Jamie Lee. And one thing that I learned from my academic career that I'll be taking with me is to persevere and never give up because it'll always be worth it in the end. I learned this while being a PSCO student at Century College where I met my mentor, Laurel Smith. I would just like to thank Laurel for being an amazing teacher and for helping me believe in myself. Lastly, I would also like to thank my family for be always being there for me and helping me through my academic journey. Hi, my name is Precious Lee and something from my academic career that I would definitely be bringing to the future with me would be my experience from Northeast Metro's 916 Dental Program. A big thank you to Mrs. Rita Gordon, who was not only an amazing dental assisting teacher, but also made class feel like home and my peers like family. 
I would also like to say thank you to my uncle Donnie, who was my biggest supporter and taught me to live life to the fullest because life is short. Hi, my name is Rita Gordon. I'm Precious Lee's dental careers teacher. One of her greatest qualities has been her passion, her love for dentistry, for her family, for her classmates, and also for her teacher. Precious, it's been great having you in my class. Thank you. To the class of 2020, congratulations. Enjoy your new journey ahead. God bless you all. My name is Angela Lundling, and one thing I learned in my academic career is to approach problems from different ways because sometimes just changing your perspective is all it takes to figure something out. I'd like to thank Ms. Hires, my calculus teacher, for motivating us all to seek out challenges and to approach them willingly, even if there may not be a straightforward solution. And I'd also like to thank my parents for teaching me how to balance my priorities and for always being encouraging throughout my life. This is Karen Hires for star student Angela Lenling. I've been proud to teach Angela in math class and have her as my student on math team. Angela is inquisitive, creative, and a determined student. I remember clearly a project from her ninth grade year where she turned in a whole bunch of cheesy jokes to go with her cheesy graphics. She always made me laugh. Good luck, Angela, and congratulations to all of the star students. Hi, my name is Alexandra Lyle, and one thing that I have learned throughout my academic career is that it is very important when times get rough to push through. It's okay to ask for help, and it's okay to ask questions because your teachers really do want you to succeed. I would like to give a big thank you to my mentor and my teacher, Mr. Wessel, for everything that he has done for me, and I would like to give a shout out to my parents, my siblings, and my grandparents. Hi, my name is John Wessel, and I first met Alex in my Lifetime Activities class two years ago. Uh, Alex's biggest strength uh, is definitely her heart. Uh, she cares so much about the people around her and in the community. Uh, her work with Golden Prom and students with disabilities at Tartan uh, is a testament to her character. Um, Alex, I wish you the best of luck next year at North Dakota State. Uh, and as always, you know I'm here uh, to help you with anything that you need. Take care and God bless. Hi, my name is Paige Madsen, and I think the one thing that I learned throughout my academic career is that you either want it or you don't. Um, my mentor here today is Craig Spryder, my DECA advisor, and the thing that I've learned through the last three years of having him as a teacher is that um, it's important to acknowledge both your strengths and your weaknesses in order to use them in your favor. Um, last but not least, for my family here tonight, I do want to thank you guys for being my su support system. Paige Madsen. In 10th grade, you gave up every one of your lunches to be a part of our DECA chapter. It rubbed off on so many students. It taught me uh, a huge lesson that persistence, again, always pays off when you do it with the right intentions in mind. I can't wait to see where it takes you as the years unfold. You've been uh, a bright light uh, for me in our DECA chapter this past year. I look forward to staying in touch with you and hearing in your successes as the years go on. Good luck to you. Good luck to all the STARS recipients tonight. Hi, my name is Nuki Moa, and one thing that I learned in my academic career that I will take forward to achieve my future goals is to step out of my comfort zone by trying new things. Mrs. First, thank you for your continuous support and for teaching me that hard work really does pay off. Lastly, thank you to my mom, Lee, and my dad, Chewie, for everything that you've done for me. My name is Mrs. First, and I've known Nuki for the last four years as an AVID student and an NHS student. Nuki is a quiet but fierce leader. Any group or activity or class that she's been a part of, she's always been just that, a very passionate and powerful leader. And because of that, I know she's going to continue doing really great things next fall at the University of Minnesota. Nuki, I'm so proud of you, and I'm going to miss you. Hello, my name is Jason Stutzman. Yupeng Moore was a student in my Accelerated Algebra two pre-calculus class two years ago, and in AP Computer Science last year. Uh, he has an amazing work ethic and an ability to self-start and work independently. Uh, he always did a fantastic job in my class. Uh, congratulations on this award. It is well-deserved. I wish you continued success, and I know you will continue to do great things. Hi there, my name is Caitlin Neiman. One major thing I've learned from school so far is that whatever work you put into it is exactly what you're going to get out of it. The teacher I chose is Miss Ostertag from Eagle Point Elementary, my first grade year. One huge thing that she's taught me is to always have fun with whatever I'm doing. And lastly, I want to say thank you so much to all my friends and family who've stuck by me these past 12 years and supported me. 
I'm Shannon Ostertag, and I had Caitlin Neiman in first grade at Eagle Point. Caitlin, you are strong, fearless, wise, and beautiful inside and out. In first grade, you made up your mind that someday you would attend the Stars Banquet, and here you are. The grit you have has made this dream possible. I'm so excited about your future. Stay on that path to reach your goals. Even if the road becomes a mountain, continue that grit you have and never stop moving forward. I can't wait for your next chapter. My name is Tristan Palenti, and throughout my academic career, I have learned that I am more capable than I thought. I would like to thank Mr. Stutzman for teaching me how recursion works, among hundreds of other things. And thanks to my mom and dad for pushing me to succeed. Hello, my name is Jason Stutzman. Tristan Polenti was a student in my Accelerated Algebra 2 and Pre-Calculus class two years ago and AP Computer Science class last year. Uh, Tristan is very dedicated to his studies, uh, but in my class he was also dedicated to helping others around him. And uh, his patience and explanations helped many students and I'm sure gave him some additional insights as well. Congratulations on the STARS Award. Uh, you worked hard for it and you deserve it. Uh, I know you'll continue to have success throughout uh, everything you do. Hello, my name is Alec Falls, and one of the most important things I've learned is how to communicate properly with other people. I will definitely be taking that with me in my future. Surprisingly enough, I learned this from my mentor, Jeff Zucker, and I would like to thank him for all that he has done for me, not only in my academic career, but throughout my everyday life. And finally, I'd like to give a shout out to my family and friends for getting me to the point I am today, especially my mom, Kelly, and my dad, Pete. Thank you. My name is Jeff Zuffer, and I'm truly honored to celebrate the Stars Banquet with Alec Falls and his family. Alec, I got a chance to know you when you were five or six years old, and your brother Ryan came through my class, and then your sister Nicole. Don't tell Ryan or Nicole, but you were always my favorite Falls kid. Uh, we shared some great moments together at Deep Portage and on the ski trip. I always appreciated your sense of humor. You brought a lightness to our class, but also your genuine caring for others, and I know that was something that your family valued. Uh, I've enjoyed keeping in touch with you through the years at Skyview and at Tartan, uh, whether it was on the soccer field or just stopping by Eagle Point. Um, congratulations, and I know you're going to accomplish great things at the University of Minnesota. Uh, congratulations goes out to all the Tartan and North uh, recipients of STARS banquets, uh, the STARS honorees, uh, especially those from Eagle Point, those graduates. We wish you the best of luck. Thanks again. I'm Mrs. Wareham from Skyview Elementary School, third grade, and I know Raisa Rire from third grade back in 2010, 2011. Thank you so much for choosing me as your mentor teacher. It has been an honor to watch you grow up. You have a tenacity for learning, a knack of curiosity that could shatter a light bulb. You light up a room with your smile. You have so much to give to the world and I can't wait to see what you do, what you grow up to become. I wish you and all the 2020 graduates great futures. There's so much out there waiting for you to make a difference. Hi, I'm Haley Snetty, and one thing I learned in my academic career is to never give up on the hopes and dreams that I'm working to achieve. My teacher slash mentor is Tammy Warden, and I just want to thank her for everything that she's ever done for me, and also for teaching me to always have a positive outlook on life and to never give up when things get tough. Also, shout out to my parents who have always been there for me throughout all of my schooling. Hi, Haley. So good to see you. I have to wear a hat because I know you'll make fun of my gray hair. Let me tell you, four years ago, and you came into my classroom, I knew you were gonna do amazing, amazing work at the school. I'm so happy for you, and I'm so excited for you and blessed that you chose me as your influential teacher. I looked forward to seeing you every morning and every afternoon. I can't wait to see what you do in the next stage of your life. I know you're heading to Mankato and I'll come meet you for coffee, okay? Have a great time. Valerie Osmondson, third grade teacher, Skyview Elementary. Thank you, Madison, for choosing me as an influential teacher. I'm honored. Madison, you gave me this Van Gogh mug and it's a favorite. Every time I drink from it, I think of you and your family and your love of art. You are hardworking, you are responsible, and you are a kind-hearted friend. Congratulations on your achievements, and remember, stay safe. Hi, my name is Benita Toll, and throughout my academic career, I've learned how to be persistent in accomplishing a task regardless of how difficult it is. I would like to thank my 10th grade biology teacher, Mr. Miller, 
for teaching me many things about science and for also being a mentor for us in Envirothon and teaching me how to apply that science to everyday life. I would also like to thank my parents for always encouraging me to push harder. Thank you. Congratulations, 2020 STAR students. My name is Nathan Miller, and I have had the privilege of teaching Monita Toll biology and coaching her in Envirothon. Monita prioritizes family, hard work, and honesty. She is kind, friendly, and has an inner perseverance that can get through any type of task. Maybe that is the secret to her success. Monita, you will do well at the University of Minnesota. For all 2020 STAR students, you've endured, adapted, and prevailed. Keep it up and stay safe. My name is Ryan Willett. In my time at Tartan, I took a lot of hard courses, and they taught me that hard work leads to success. I want to thank my mentor, the Tartan golf coach, Don Lee, who taught me the virtues of commitment, leadership, and hard work. I also want to thank my mom, who read all of my essays throughout high school. Hi, my name is Madison Yang, and one thing that I learned in my academic career that I would take wherever I go is commitment, knowing your goals and sticking to them. The teacher that I chose is Mr. Thompson from Skyview Middle School, and I just wanted to say thank you for teaching me how to have a passion for learning. And lastly, I wanted to say thank you to my parents who supported me through everything, and I could not have done it without them. Maddie Yang, congratulations on becoming a STAR student. My name is Drew Thompson. I taught Maddie at sixth grade at Skyview Middle School. Um, the reason I became a teacher was exactly kids like Maddie Yang. She was always came in with a positive attitude, a smile on her face. She was fun to be around, creative, and um, overall just a great kid. So best of luck to you at the University of Minnesota. You will do great. Hello, I am Jim Boyle, teacher at Skyview Middle School and track coach at Tartan High School. I have worked with Raquel for the past seven years and her powerful determination to get things done with excellence and whose passion is contagious has been wonderful. Um, Raquel, good luck next year at the University of Minnesota. Have fun and pursue that biology major and make a positive impact. Keep doing what you're doing. Hello, this is Christine Tucci Osorio, proud superintendent of District 622. I'm excited to be here tonight to be the person to close out the evening for you with this very special STARS banquet. As we wrap up the evening together, I want to just take a moment to thank all of the members of our 622 Education Foundation Board. As you may know, our Education Foundation is a separate nonprofit. It's not part of the school district, but it's a, a nonprofit organization that supports students, families in need in our school district and also is the primary organizer of this STARS banquet, which celebrates the top 10% of our graduating classes each year. This is a really huge event and uh, without our Education Foundation, it would not be happening. So we're so grateful for that leadership. Additionally, I'd like to take a moment to thank all of our current school board members um, and also any elected officials that are part of this evening's events as well. Typically, when this event happens in a big banquet room, we're all kind of crowded together. There's barely any room to move if you've ever been to one of these, uh, but it's a lot of community get-together, gatherings, conversations happening at the same time. Typically, our North St. Paul, Maplewood, Oakdale, and even Woodbury community members and leadership shows up. And um, it's quite an honoring celebration. So I know you're all here watching this evening, and I just want to thank you for your leadership. I also want to thank you for how you continue to serve and give back to our community. And I sure hope all of our young people are watching and learning from your leadership right now as well. As you know, tonight is a very special night for our top achievers among our 2020 graduating class. And as you know, 622 is also an incredibly competitive school district. This year, our Tartan and North students earned over 2,700 college credits while still in high school, saving themselves and their families millions of dollars in college tuition. And 622 is one of the top districts in the state for students earning college credit while still in high school. So you're not just um, the top 10% of any school, you're a top 10% of a, a graduating class that's very large and very competitive. So we're really proud of you and what you've accomplished. 
Tonight represents our 24th annual STARS Banquet, and by now you may have heard that STARS stands for Students and, Ach and Teachers Achieving Academic Recognition and Success. And as I've already shared with you, our high school students across the district are already performing above average on so many measures. So this is really exciting to be honoring those who are in the top 10%. So it's a pretty elite group of superstars that we're recognizing this evening. And to our 622 elite graduates, I know that you will not let this COVID crisis define your high school experience for you. At the same time, I sure hope that you will take yourselves forward into the world, use your skills and talents and your experiences through this COVID crisis to help shape a beautiful future for our planet and for our generations to come. With all my heart, I wish you all a very proud congratulations. You are now part of an elite group of 622 alumni. And I know you will make us proud and come back and tell us your stories. We look forward to hearing from you. Congratulations to all of our graduates tonight. You are truly a shining star, and we couldn't be more proud of you. Thank you for a wonderful evening.